Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now when you insert a formula, Word will try and guess what function it is that you'd like to perform. So for example, if we click into this cell right here below all of these numbers for the hours that were worked by these people. If I selected table from the menu bar, rolled down and clicked on formula, you can see that Word inserts a formula for me equals sum, which is the function, and then within parentheses the cell range to, on which to perform that function, in this case above, which would be all the cells above the current cell. Now if word suggestion is correct, then you can just click OK at the bottom of the formula dialog box to accept it. However, if it's not correct, then you can click into the formula box and simply type in your own. Like say we wanted to do the average of the cells above. Well, we can click and drag over the word sum here, since that's the function. And notice we can use this paste function drop down to choose a different function from the list. In this case, we would just choose average. Make sure the sum gets deleted. So equals average above. So it should look like that. So you can edit it by either just typing it in, or you can select a different function to paste into the formula. And when it looks correct, simply click OK. So the average of those cells that were above it was 8.31. Notice that it's possible to click into a cell, choose table and formula, and select almost any function and put in a reference such as left, right, above, or below to refer to the row or column of cells directly to the left of, to the right of, above or below the cell into which we are actually inputting the formula. And this is a convenient way of indicating to Word everything in this column or row in this direction from this cell instead of having to type in each and every cell address that you'd like to use. So here we said take the max of all the cells to its left. Max gives you the highest number, so it returns a 9. Notice you can click and drag over a formula field once it's been inserted and just press delete on your keyboard to get rid of them. Now you can also designate what is called a cell range to describe a group of cells. So in this case, what you're doing is instead of individually referencing each and every cell address, you could simply select a little range of cells. Let's say, for example, we wanted to add up these two cells plus this cell. One way of writing that formula, wherever you would want to insert it, just click there once, would be to go to Table and Formula. So here I'm just going to delete out the formula provided. And let's pick a function, say SUM and then an open parenthesis. If I wanted to make a reference to these two cells, you could simply pick the cell in the upper left corner, which in this case would be A, B, C, D, 2, so D2, and then colon, which means through. And then you pick the cell in the lower right hand corner. In this case, there is no lower right, there's just lower, so let's say D3, comma, which means and, and then the next cell or cell range, let's say D5. So what we're writing here is the sum of D2 through D3 and D5. So it takes the 10 and the 16 and gives us 26, skipping the 7.25. And that can be useful when you're adding up large ranges of non-adjacent cells, so cells that aren't next to each other. Now we used the function sum in the last example, but if you're only trying to do one mathematical operation on a bunch of cells, that's when we can use terms like sum, average, max, and min, instead of having to write out all the cell addresses or ranges with the actual mathematical operators specified, like the plus and the minus. Now Word gives you several standard functions and they're contained in the paste function in the formula dialog box. So if we went to table and formula, 
Notice if you didn't want to do sum, you can delete that out and choose any function from the paste function dropdown, such as average, count cells, max for highest values, min for lowest values, product for multiplication, sum. So you can choose your function and then make your cell references. So here I'm saying take the product of D2, which is the hours, times E2, which is the wage rate, and then I would click OK. The 72 should actually go over here. And then I can repeat that to find out the dollar amount earned for each person. Now one thing you can notice is it's not possible to simply copy and paste. In this case, it still references the original cells. So you'd have to create one for each row. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.